Hi, this is Phoenix. Today, we will going to make our first program with Pygame, a small program that makes a window. Open your editor. I will be using Sublime Text Editor. I will customize my editor by clicking the view, sidebar, and then show sidebar. Click the file, save as. I will save this in my desktop folder named python6 and I will name it hello world.py. Then click save. When you import the Pygame module, you automatically import all the modules that are in the Pygame module as well, such as Pygame.images and Pygame.mixer.music. There's no need to import these modules inside modules with additional import statements. The Pygame.init function call, which always needs to be called after importing the Pygame module and before calling any other Pygame function. You don't need to know what this function does, you just need to know that it needs to be called first in order for many Pygame functions to work. Let's first define the window size. We can do that by writing or creating win size, or window size, is equal to. I'm going to use a tuple here with two values. The first value is 600 and the second one is 400. Because I want this to be 600 by 400 window size. Then we create another variable display screen, is equal to pygame.display.setMode, function, which returns the pygame.surface object for the window. And we will put the variable win size. This tuple tells the set mode, function how wide and how high to make the window in pixels which is 600 by 400. And then we create while loop, that has a condition of simply the value true. This means that it never exits due to its condition evaluating to false. The pygame.display.update function, which draws the surface object returned by pygame.display.setMode, to the screen. Remember we stored this object in the display screen variable. Since the surface object hasn't changed, the same black image is redrawn to the screen each time pygame.display.update is called. Inside while loop, we will create a for loop that will iterate over the list of event objects that was returned by pygame.event.get. On each iteration through the for loop, a variable named event will be assigned the value of the next event object in this list. The list of event objects returned from pygame.event.get will be in the order that the events happened. If the user clicked the mouse and then pressed a keyboard key, the event object for the mouse click would be the first item in the list. And the event object for the keyboard press would be second. If no events have happened, then pygame.event.get will return a blank list. Event objects have a member variable, also called attributes or properties, named type, which tells us what kind of event the object represents. If the event object's type is equal to the constant quit, if the event object is a quit event, then the pygame.quit and sys.exit functions are called. The pygame.quit function is sort of the opposite of the pygame.init function, it runs code that deactivates the Pygame library. We need to also import sys module in the import statement above. So that we can call sys.exit function. Your programs should always call pygame.quit before they call sys.exit to terminate the program. Normally it doesn't really matter since Python closes it when the program exits anyway. Let us save this file now by clicking file then save.
You can also use keyboard shortcut by pressing Ctrl key plus S on your keyboard. Let's now open the file we just saved. Now, I want you to press Shift key on your keyboard and at the same time clicking the right mouse button. This will open up a window. Then click, Open Command window here. Let's run the program by typing Python then the name of the program which is hello world.py and this will open up a window we just successfully made the world's most boring video game it's just a blank window that has window size of 600 by 400 thank you for watching stay tuned for more updates